work generally helps people because they can get out of their apartment and do something with their time and make a little money and feel like they're contributing to something. This is my life now. And I, this is the best life I ever had in, my, in history. I'm happier now than I ever was growing up as a child or as a young adult. If you work, no matter what, you're going to make more money. It keeps you busy. It helps you with your illness to, to work. The fear I had before is not there. I feel, I feel free. I think partly because I work at a bookstore, I think, I think that has influenced me so that I want to write my own book. If it wasn't for this job, I never would have had this outlook on life. The way that I got my job was that my therapist introduced me to an employment specialist and the program was called Supported Employment. Supported Employment required no tests or classes to get my job. I was working at Burger King. I just wanted a change. I've been working there for a little over seven years and I told my, my therapist that was Ann and I just wanted a change and she introduced me to Bill Norton. He was very polite, nice, and I told him about myself, you know, and he helped me with my resumes and he helped me with the applications. Then I went for the interview and they gave me the job. I think it is easier with this employment specialist. <laughs> Supported employment is for anyone who wants to work. I never thought, and it had never crossed my mind, that I could work. Before, I used to feel like a little bird in a cage. My therapist asked me what I was doing. Well, I'm here, like a little princess, watching TV because I don't have anything to do. She asked me, do you want to work? I don't know how to explain it to you because it was a very shocking question for me because I've never worked outside of my home. So then she asked me if I knew Maria. And a little after that, they gave me the job. They kept telling me I was capable of more, that I wasn't like cleaning, maintenance that I started to care more about my appearance and I felt that uh, um, I could move on with their support and I did and uh, because of my job coach and the people who helped get me started, I started working at Babies Earth. Sandy, I found some mirrors, but I don't know if there's a cool one or not. When I was hired, I was actually hired to do baby registry to pick out for baby showers. But uh, when I started working at Babes R Us, they noticed I actually got the most number correct questions out of anyone training in the store, and they decided to put me in what they call HBA, which means infant care. Your employment specialist will work with you and your treatment team. It was exactly four years ago in November when I tried to take my life. The center takes charge of my medication and Maria of Capital Region got me this job. And I think that it's very good for me because for four years I've been fine. My mind can think, I'm more positive and I believe that I stay out of trouble by being out of the house for three or four hours until my wife comes home from work. I definitely have uh, a positive outlook on whether or not I can find a job. I've been working on computers since I was knee high, and people expect me to do just as well as any, any other person could. For the most part, I can, but there are some cases where I need support and things I need to work on. I go to Bill, and I go to Larry, and I seek the support I need. I'll send them a resume and a cover letter. Would internship fulfill your need to work right now? Yes, it would. It would give me a college credit, which would, in, which would probably reduce the amount of courses I would have to take next semester. I feel like I have a lot of support behind me. Tell me if any of those interest you, and if so, we can make a phone call.
There's this one in Weathersfield. Computer skills, outgoing personality. I don't know about that. Oh, come on, that. <laughs> <laughs> Supported employment is about finding full-time or part-time work depending on what you want. I didn't want just a job to just fill my time or anything. I wanted something that could lead to something that would look good on a resume. How would you feel working in that type of environment? Okay. You'd be comfortable? Yeah. Be around a lot of people? Yeah. So how many Great. hours would that be? About 20. 20 hours. Would that 20. interfere with his entitlements or anything Depends like that? Depends how much money. It depends on how much that, money, but I doubt it. I still got that paper you gave me that tells how much I can earn. Yeah. At each level. Right. right. Have you seen that? I can work 23 hours a week at $8 an hour and still keep my Social Security. Hours a week. If I work more than that, then I would lose my Social Security check and I wouldn't be able to support myself. Okay. I used to work part-time and I get Social Security. And now I've been working full-time for like three weeks. I made that decision because you get more money, you can pay for your bills, you know, clothes, even a little bit more than when I used to get some Social Security. I work at Wild Oats Market in Bishop's Corner, food prep, helping customers. And I like the job, you know, the customers are polite, most of them. <laughs> And I like to do, I like doing what I'm doing. Supported employment helps you find jobs that interest you. Well, I think part of it is you have to know like what your interests are. For me, it's books. So that is a good connection, I think. Okay. This, um, scan it to see how many we have. And then it, um, I don't know if you can see, but. I had a um, roommate and he was, Bill's the client. Bill's been with me ever since. And that was about two months before I got the job at Barnes & Noble. It's cool. It's, it's like I've, you know, finally done something in my life. This job is really excellent. I used to work in restaurants. After two or three jobs in a restaurant, I realized that it wasn't for me because it wasn't fast enough. And, you know, there were people in the restaurant who would, who would sort of give hints and say, you know, I really don't think you're cut out for this. And and I was a little hurt at first, but then I realized that they were just trying to tell me that this wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. Come in. Hi. Hi. I'm just here to do some photocopying. Now that I work in an office, accuracy is more important than speed. So you need to make copies of this one and this one. So you could just do 10 of each. OK. okay. Thanks. Sure. work in a restaurant at like lunchtime, you gotta be really fast. I wish I had 20 Rubens. You know, that's the easiest way to put it. I wish I had 20 of them because he's just, he's a remarkable young man. This was my first boss, Bob and Lloyd McKay. I worked with them from 98 to 2000 and then Bob sold the restaurant to Lindsay and JJ. We bought this place in January, and through this transition, I really didn't know what I was gonna have Reuben do, because Reuben was a dishwasher for Bob. But Reuben took it upon himself, you know, to look at things. Lindsay, maybe we should sand the floors, maybe we should paint them black, maybe we should do this. So Lindsay, those two are going back. Yes, they are. You gotta get them, they're free, they're free, they don't charge. I wasn't aware of the ideas nor the incentive that he would have or, or anything, how much he had to offer. Basically, I uh, do the dishes and when it gets busy, I help Chrissy do the, uh, the tables because she's the waitress now. And when it gets busy, I help her. I like working around people and if I can help somebody, I help them. Here you go, Joe. You, You're welcome. I'm Alex Rodriguez, and I own Manhattan Bagel. I was introduced to Victor by Maria, employment specialist, and uh, it's difficult to find employees, and there's a lot of turnover. And I think it went really well with Victor because he's been here for a long time, and I don't get the turnover like I do with other employees. 
How long have you been working here, Victor? Oh, about a year, a year and a half, maybe. I found that Victor's quiet and just uh, and just does his job, you know. And uh, Victor comes in, he works six days a week, four hours a day, five hours a day. He never asks to leave early. He never shows up late. So uh, he just comes in, he does his job, and anything new, as long as I show him how to do it once, uh, he's capable of doing it. Supported employment, office support that is unique to you. What is it that you like about your work? It's work. I like that it's work. I was fearful of sending my son to the program, but then I realized it was a healthy thing, a good therapy, that they can entertain themselves and talk with other friends, and they have a way to get out, and they feel important, because it's important for your kids to get out, to have fun, and to feel useful. That's life, isn't it? I become involved with your family because our culture is like that. And because I know your family and that they are involved. I know you can become a successful individual in the future and everybody will be looking after your well-being. I know that your mom, dad and brother want you to be a person who will, as time goes on, become more independent. And when he got his check, he felt so useful. He went out with his brother and blew it all on clothes. Supported employment adapts to your changing needs. I didn't know when I came to work at the store that our stock was going to be like 20, 25 feet high above and we have to climb up and down ladders with boxes. It's not that I don't want to do it, but when I get, get up there, I get so nervous and so shaky, I almost fall off the ladder every time. It's like anxiety attack, like a fright attack or something. So I was too afraid at the time to speak up, so I had my job coach come down and talk with my assistant manager at the time, and he said no problem, and they made this adaptation that I don't have to go up ladders if if I don't feel comfortable, I can get one of the people from receiving to come get boxes down. Techniques to learn to deal with stress are some of the things that I hope to learn from working with Bill, Larry, and Cruz. That's probably most important, considering that the field that I'm going into is very high stress. The kind of support we can offer you, situational assessment, job coaching, job shadowing, um, almost anything you would need for support on a job, what do you feel you need to be employed? For support on the job, I need coaching to help me deal with certain situations that I may find challenging. Coaching with being able to cope with difficult and, and stressful situations, those sorts of things. Stressed? Yeah, I, I, I definitely get it. There have been a few times actually I wanted to quit just because I wanted to get everything clean out. But my coworkers are always there for me, you know, especially, um, you know, the bosses. The bosses are all cool. And I've been doing fine on my own for a while, and Bill doesn't come in as much as he first did. But he checks up on me, and he gives me a little advice here and there. And um, come to find out, if I didn't have Bill, things would be a tad bit more stressful. But I would ask for a timeout, or I would, um, I would think of my dog. I mean, that definitely helps, you know. He's pretty much like my best friend. Bill Naughton and I go out looking for work. If we talk to someone in the personnel department, we are, are straightforward and truthful about it and say, uh, you know, Don has a mental illness or he has an illness, but it wouldn't affect his work. I did not disclose to the, to the office where I worked because I just didn't want to get any strange looks from people and I didn't want to get any any bad feelings from people, you know? Well, actually, I didn't at first for a while, and then I changed my mind. It's a very private issue. So it's completely up to the individual whether they want it at schools or not. I just think working just leads to a whole other set of positive aspects in your life. It'll get you every morning to brush your teeth, to use uh, gargle with mouthwash, to shower. I found I cared more about myself, and the more I cared about myself, the more I cared about my job. Sometimes I look at myself and I can't believe it. 
que a lo que what I used to be, what I am now. I can't even believe it myself. I would tell anybody that is trying to recover from mental illness that getting a job is one step in the right direction because it gets you out of the house, it gets you thinking positively. And if I was able to do it, someone like me who was trapped inside myself, you can do it too. <laughs> Mostly I drive to work and stuff. Grocery store, doctor appointments. It's good for going for drives. I got my license last year, so it's not the first year with it, my license. I passed on the third try. <laughs> In the beginning, I was kind of shy to go places, you know? And then I just started getting, what's that word? <laughs> Confidence. 